Yo, what's going on guys? Chris Bonnier here, Overtime Athletes, back with my man, Phil DeRue. Phil, appreciate you having me, man. Up, appreciate it. Uh, I was just talking with him and I was mentioning to you two of the biggest questions I get from these guys who are viewing the channel are punching power and punching speed. So we'll actually break this down in a two-part uh, video if we can. And if you can, first shoot off at the hip and go ahead and coach. Uh, I know obviously it comes to training when it comes to punching power, but if you can, kind of give me a little bit more about your approach or how you can get the most maximum force out of somebody's punch. Yeah, first and foremost, we want to develop maximal power through absolute strength. So the first thing we got to do is get strong. Then from there, we can utilize technique and overall strength to induce more explosive power. So yes, a lot of it does have to do with your technique and how you go to throw a strike, if it's a kick or a punch, whatever the case may be. But if you don't have strength in order to potentiate into power, it's just not going to happen. A lot of the times, genetically, you have the gift to actually get that one punch knockout power. And a lot of my guys and girls do have that, but we can also train that. And also from a speed perspective, you can get faster through proper means of ballistics and other types, types of uh, conditioning tools or strength training tools that will help you with that process. Now, from a technique standpoint, it always depends on where your foot placement lies, where your hips lie, how you're actually transferring over your weight and distributing more force output to the outer extremities. Also, what I like to harp on is proximal stability with distal mobility. So if you have a tight, strong core, you'll be able to go ahead and potentiate into a strength or a power output from the outer extremity. So more speed, more power if you're strong in the core, and that's why I like to utilize anti-rotation and rotational type of exercises to induce maximal power output. Awesome, so from a technique perspective, mm -hmm. you know, obviously from the training perspective, like you said, absolute strength, core stability. Yeah. And then, you know, we are, obviously a lot of guys who view MMA, some guys look less or not as strong as other guys, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? But they still have that power. Yeah. Um, now that comes down to technique, I'm assuming. Sure, yeah. So what is it that they're doing that maybe a guy who's stronger isn't doing? Yeah, so they're able to distribute their weight more effectively. They're able to utilize what they have from a technique standpoint and their, and their, uh, their body positioning to actually induce more power output. So let me show you real quick. So what I want you to do is go ahead and get into a fighter stance. So one foot back, right? And you always want to make sure that you have good distribution from your left or your from your front foot to your back foot on the balls of your feet. You never want to be flat footed because if you're not, you don't you can't distribute and turn and pivot right. through a punch more efficient. Right. So let's go ahead and get onto the balls of your feet. All right, hands are gonna be up. Now I want your elbows in tight because if your elbows are flared out, you can't turn your punch over as efficiently. So if you're here, it kind of takes away from the, the spark of your right. punch, right? right? So we're gonna get your hands up, okay? Now from there, I want that back foot, I want it up a little bit, that heel I want it up, right? So when you go to throw your punch, you're letting your hip lead. So we're talking about the backhand for right now, right? Cause that's mostly where you're gonna get the knockout from, right? Either that or a hook. So I'll show you both, right? So we're gonna work on the backhand first and then we'll work on the hook. So with your backhand, you wanna make sure you get on the ball of your foot, the heel is up. And as you go to turn, I want your hip to lead first. And as your hip leads, you're gonna actually distribute your weight forward. So it's here, not here, okay? So go ahead, good. Now, as you go to throw, make sure that hand is up and in tight. Keep on the ball of your foot. Bring your feet in a little bit closer so you have, yeah, there we go. Now from there, turn and throw, yeah, there. Go back, again, good, again. Good. Now, when you go to throw, don't leave it out there. I want you to actually snap and bring, snap it, back. bring it back, okay? Hold on. So we don't hurt my hand, I'm gonna go ahead, throw this pad on. All right, here we go. Good. And don't follow through here. I want you to actually hit it and come right come back. back, okay? Ready? Good. Again. Okay. Again. Good. Now, as you go to throw, don't come up, I want you to actually sit down, right? So sit down and throw, yeah. And I'm, am, am I turning this? Yeah, so act like you're, you're uh, putting, a, putting a cigarette out, right? So we're putting a cigarette out and we're turning and throwing that hip into it, ready? Hup. Good, that's better, back. Good, right back to the hand. 
Good again. Good. Now, see, you're kind of shortening it up. I want you to turn it over. So I want you to hit with the two knuckles on the top. Boom. Okay. Let's go. That's it. Again. Good. That was better. Again. Best one. Go ahead. Good. One more time. Good. That was a good one. So, All right. Boom. Straight back. Yeah. Got Keep the chin down. Make sure you distribute the weight through your hip from the floor all the way through the outer extremity. So you're pushing and turning using the hip and then driving through, turning it over. It. Make sense? Absolutely. Now, with the hook, you're gonna utilize your obliques, your transverse abdominals, right? And we're gonna use, yeah, you don't wanna dip too much mm -hmm. because then you show your punch. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the times it's just here, boom, right? So we're just gonna throw it from the hip. You're gonna turn here and basically like you're stirring a pot you're gonna bring it back in, so it's boom. And kick right back. All right, so switch hands. So I'm here. Mm -hmm. Yep. Good. And am I turning here? Here and then back. Got yep. It. Keep the toe, keep on the ball of your foot. Good, let's go. Am I, am I, same thing with this? Yep, so you're gonna be here, right? So it's boom, and then right back. Good. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. Let's turn that toe out. So right here. a little bit less, right in, right there. Now get on the balls of your feet. Boom, right there. Good. Yep. Good. Good. Hop. Good. Hop. Hop. Good. Turn that hip more. Come on. There it is. Turn the hip. Hop. There it is. Let's go. Hop. One more. Hop. Good. There it is. Okay. So it's just it's just coming off with the hip a little bit more. Yep. So you're always... Which is arm, arm, arm strength. That's the thing. A lot of people throw arm punches and they leave a lot of power out of it. Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure that we're taking what we gain. We're, it's starting from the floor up, right. right? So we're going, we're distributing our weight from the foot, the ball of your foot, through the hip, through the core, out to the outer extremities, gotcha. all right? Gotcha. The only way you're actually going to truly induce that power, that one punch knockout power, is to make sure that you distribute that weight appropriately. Uh -huh. If you don't, if you come here or you're here, you're off balance, you're not gonna be able to have the right amount of power to Total finish body. the fight. Total yeah, the, gotcha. the, you're, you're, you're utilizing your entire body, not just your arm, mm -hmm. right? So instead of me just going, I'm here, I wanna sit down, boom, boom. and throw in. Throw it in. That's it. Gotcha, well, thank you so much. No I doubt. appreciate that. Guys, check out down below for more with his channel. And if you guys are interested in any kind of MMA or combat sports performance program, check out Fight Ready down below. Appreciate you guys watching.